that was a fun game. Now, what happened there was, I mean, that was just a, you know, pretty much good display of how good a red team can be when they counter-attack. Now, I thought I'd say no to that for the moment, on the basis that we haven't seen the teams actually alternate yet and see if actually, you know, the defending team actually got in the attack. Now, in any case, but that's, now that's the thing that happened there. Red counter-attacked so hard that they actually kind of lost touch with the cart a bit and it almost sneaked out of them. You've got to keep an eye on that thing and, you know, they didn't have, like, as many engineers and didn't ha keep down all the areas. Actually, they, they had the attic, I think, at the start of that game along the other place. They would have had that game straight up. I think if they played a little bit more solidly, a little, little less aggressively, that would have been a e much easier game. But to be fair, they were making it look so easy. Five, four, three, two, one. Doors open. Designations go off. There goes Captain Unicorn with Scooter Loops there. Oh, there's a counter over. It's looking messy. But I think they may have cleared most of the blockage. Uh, but I know, got the time on the Uber there and just kills off Captain Unicorn. As I've said, if you time the Uber's right on the red team, just time about a second or two after their Uber, and if you do that, you know, you can always catch them after, after they come out of it. Now, from the looks of it, Red are doing really well at the moment. They're not, they're, they're not coping too well, but they're, they're staying alive. Ooh, nice work there from my game or I, I think, you know, over that heavy weapon Marauder got revenge straight away. Sounds moving up. Okay, keep an eye on things. Uh oh. Big smoke baggins there. Failed that shot, but yeah, heavy got to him. And the chrono sounds that you know, being expensive in terms of, you know, the of damage you're doing. Now, blue haven't really got his cart moved up. Red are still relatively resisting. You know, they've got games still. Now if Red can just keep them off about down to two minutes. That's that's a good job first of all. Good job. Now the blue team again has moved up. I have a feeling though blue have genuinely moved in and occupied the area. And it looks like though red aren't you know, gonna be coping very well. Oh there goes I know. Rat jump spins around the corner. How did that sniper survive? I don't know. I thought we'd be clobbered from that heavy attack. Now, heavy will pull back from that time. That is sniper range right there. Not an ideal place to be. We push over the point, like, you know, 2 minutes 20. Now, 8 minutes on the clock. So, you know, that defense was relatively successful. It's denied the maximum amount of time. We've got left and red. They're defending well. I know, Tibbs, moving out. Russian guy, uh, I, I can't pronounce the name. I think barely survived that. And I know he's thrown out an Uber. Eventually kills that engineer. And just moving around the place, just trying to find people to kill. Ruby Rose, taken down by the um, heavy again. Oh, Tachote there. Nice work. Gets the stab the on the head. Russian guy's name is Mikhail. The Russian guy's name is Mikhail Karet. Mikhail, okay, fair enough. Oh, I'll remember it in the future. Okay, Shadow trying to push the cart up there. Okay, luxury potato. Okay, Red are keeping this cart. They're actually doing really well. The cart's barely moved around the corner. And they are counter attacking quite nicely. Both, both you know, teams on Red have been very good defending, very good counter attackers. Now, let us have a look at just the rest of the defense as well. It looks like this is a good standard comprehensive red defense that should hold up. Chrono Sound jumps in front of that soldier. Didn't expect, you know, falling fat guy. Ravox. Unlucky there, Grovox. Didn't get the range he needed for that medic. Almost got Tibbs. Now it's Chrono Sound on Tibbs again. Oh, nicely, nicely repositioning. Mikhail there going for the mid. Tibbs in a lot of trouble, but Mikhail there threatening that medic. Now that's 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 a sign of a good player right there. Just go for the medics, take those guys out. Now, red team is these guys are attacking, counter-attacking so hard. Oh, Gravy Bow gets a nice couple of stabs from both heavies. That's like 600 HP right there. 
Nice work. Okay, now can we kind of reform, reassemble, kind of get moving in this game? I think they've they're, they're suffering a lot of setbacks here. Shadow, towels. Nice shot there from Towels. Double shot from Lock and Load. I love that gun for that reason. Two shots, anything's destroyed. Gets in the attic, buggers everything up. Nice work. And unfortunately, may have been caught um, monologuing, unfortunately. Sorry about that. <laughs> now, in any case, Blue have managed to acquire the attic. Can they take and hold it, though? Now, it was looking a bit good for Blue. Actually, I think I can't really see much from Red. Blue doing a good job here, are they? Was there yeah, maybe evidence here of spawn camping? Troubling, because that does, you know, that will pretty much, you know, onset defeat pretty quickly. Now, it looks like better to come back out here, but can I uh, have Blue got themselves set up here? Blue just throwing out Big Smoke is Unicorn and Scoop or Big Smoke. I think there's maybe multiple Ubers going everywhere. I think Scoop Ubered, but didn't have anything to do, do that with. Bonus sounds defending like a champ, he's all alone. Oh, Big Smoke gets the crit stab on him. That's swallingly good work. Now, Fortune goes for the taunt. Nearly gets killed. Is killed. Now, yeah, okay, taunts are fun, but don't do him as medic. Really, I mean, you need to save those Ubers, man. Now, it looks like a bit messy. Blue hasn't really been able to the cart just yet. They're not pushing that thing. Numbering in and has reclaimed the attic for red. Very nice. Why well, wasn't red up there? I don't know. I think red have resumed the offensive initiative here and going back on the counter offensive. Now, I think blue had a real chance to wrap up the game, but they just didn't push the car. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe red was just there too much. Maybe they didn't get into the attic enough. Well, it's Tibbs and I know now. Doing nicely. They hire, they try to take up the medic. Again, just too easily. That, you know, that plus 10% movement speed does really help for those medics. Going to sound trying to defend. Doing it nicely again. But it's only doing this on the clock. This isn't a great amount of time for the game in. You can. The cart is just sliding back, though, which is not, help, not helping at all. Looks of it. Pretty regrouping nicely. Now let's have a look at the teams. Let's see what's going on. If there's any problems. Well, blue. Nice. I think they've a little bit admin heavy. They need more guys, I would say. You know. Uh, and as for red. Nice. Offensive. Reasonably. Yeah. They're doing nice. I mean, they've got a nice couple of heavies just lumbering around, which generally causes mayhem and destruction. Just the bubbles with Tibbs there. Burninating Mihail that just did, for some reason, was singled out for death. Ruby Rose, taking on a Pyro. Tricky. Not too dangerous. You can outrange them, but at close range, they will eat up your health. Looking for health. Oh, I think thankfully the fire went out. Okay, blue are trying to find a flank angle. They're trying to move them around the sides. Not really getting much luck. Uh, unfortunately, Ruby Rose is, is now taken out by Afterburn. Can't survive more, unfortunately. Mikhail there going for... Oh, nice work for Mikhail there. Just saved his own bacon with that. He needs help. Now, he could possibly be in a situation to win this game. Oh, who's that? Ultimate Vendetta flies in through the window. Ruins everything. Oh, that was unfortunate. 
They expect back and gets revenge. Okay. Who's on the cart? Nice stab there by iGamer Eye. Wow, I mean, this. Okay, 50 seconds on the clock. It's going to be a derpy blue attack here now. They've got to get on the cart, push that thing up. Now, it's it's looking good. It's getting on its way. Thanks for the wild spirit. See ya. See you later. Who's out on the cart? Scoot's trying to do his best by himself, but he's just surrounded by enemy team. He's looking grim, blue, but they need it. Can they get this? Red's defences are kind of down. They haven't really built up any, and blue have the option to kind of move in, but they're just not there yet. Ten seconds. It's going to have to. It's going to be all hands to the pump now. They've got to do something. Got to move in. Everybody's got to move in. It's looking good. Can Blue do this? Stabs. It's going to overtime. We're in overtime dirt here right now. Everybody's got to move in. I mean everybody. Stay on the cart all the time. Don't let that thing go. It's looking good. Can Blue Red get this on the overtime? And nicely won. Oh wow. Now, I have said one of the contributing factors there was Mikhail Sentry. He eventually got the thing up and going, and that really helped. Well, I have to say, that was a bananas, you know, round that was. I thought Red, you know, Red were buckling here and there. They were not as performing as capable as the previous Red team. Uh, but Blue never really got into gear until the last possible moment. Why is that? Why is it teams do that? Suddenly, they try, you know, just superhuman pro skills kick in, and then they just win. Like, why can't you do that from the beginning? Where were you earlier? It does seem to be like, you know, a chronic curse in this game, but, you know, maybe yeah, people don't decide to get on with it when they really need to, but let's look at the teams. Blue is looking good. Okay, nice. Okay. Good team. Good, nicely balanced team. Should do fine. Red. Good defensive team makeup. Now, I'd say equal team in terms of class picks. Since so far, the game has been pretty equal. Red could have won that last game, but Blue did, so pretty equal so far. Three, two, one. Okay, doors open. I'll be too excited to leg it there. It's generally been a nuisance and a distraction. Now, one really good way of doing that is to to actually go around the back lines and just annoy them that way. Now let's come in the forefield. The chrono sounds Tibbs there trying to defend the car. Mikhail they're trying to get killed with a wrench shotgun but no, no, no. Ready for the moment to have the main area. Blue are getting around the sides though. It's pretty cool. Over there, who's that? Great Baron Bomb from Potato. Getting out there, that's very good. Being medic he stay away from that heavy. That looks like Blue Team moving up nicely. I think Red got generally massacred. Blue Team getting around the flanks. Yes, this is looking like business. Like the Blue Team. Good, good start. Got three minutes on the clock. They need this actually. They need to get these you know, minutes racked up. That would have been that lasting in overtime. Very nice. Okay, so what's that now? Seven minutes? Okay, enough time to win the game. Now, Red of it, you know, not sure what's happened yet. I think they need a little bit, you know, some good work here. They need some good sense position. Maybe some team coordination, maybe. It's rare, it's a pub server. But for the moment, Blue is just all climbing, all conquering. At the moment. They, they're keeping that cart pushed. They're generally getting things out of the way. Red haven't been given much time here. Who, who is that down there? Gravy Boat, generally being annoying. And there's an Uber Pyro to ruin everything and everybody's day. Okay, looks like Blue know what they're doing. They're just, you know, they're making sure they get into the back lines. Start irritating everybody and all the engineers. Don't let them set up. Big smoke. Didn't get his man. Just missed. And Scoot's in there. A little bit battered. Oh, shotgun. It's like, I know what they can't reflect. Shotgun. Yes. Uh, that's pretty much just having a shot right there. 
in any case, but I'm still moving this up. Scoop loops, you know, you know, Boohoo is jumping in there, causing mayhem. He's just working. And they see the other six minutes on the clock. This is looking like it's going to be Boohoo's game. Red have to really throw up something major here to keep this game back in their favour now. Bad on potato. Stood in the middle of nowhere. It's a heavy, not a good idea. I thought maybe I'll try and keep around that car, keep pushing out those scouts on it. Ruby Rose going to win. It's kicking all. It's just, it's nudgings. And Tachote eventually gets it for blue. That was nicely pushed for a blue team. Very fast. Sorry, I say very fast. And the thing was with that, they did a very good vanguard action. They kept, you know, they moved up the cart. They had some guys on the cart. They had some guys up front the whole time. What these guys up front were doing was keeping an eye on all the good sentry spots and, you know, covering them, making sure that red team can't build up. And all the time, they're moving towards the back end of that area and just keep, you know, just annoying those engineers. I mean, I didn't see a level 3 sentry because the red engineer didn't have time or didn't have the, you know, stillness to be able to do that. You know, really good vanguard work from blue. Mission begins in 30 seconds. That's all the team composition. Yeah. Well, immediately the first thing I see is that, you know, list of DOMs on blue side already. This is looking a bit one-sided. Can Red fix that? Now, Red... They've got the picks. They're doing really well with the picks. I think they just need a little bit more competence. They need a little bit of... I don't want to say Vava but it does sound like seconds. it needs to be here. Five, okay, five six, four, clock. Three. What can Red do? One. And they're out. I game all right. Move it up. Moving out. Now. Moving, moving, moving. And he's in there. Well, where is Blue Team? Now, lean on 24. They did not expect a heavy beat in his face as he moved out of spawn. That was unpleasant. I game all right. Try it. Oh, oh, wow. Nice work from Ruby Rose there. Guess that heavy. Blue Team suddenly came back. For the moment, though, Red are defending very well. Now, too much hard defending like that, though, will exhaust them. They've got to, you know, remember to stay alive. The blue team eventually begin to creep out the, creep out the doors. Now, Ultimate Vendetta. Yes, unfortunately, the town's there with that lovely lock and load. Takes him out, all of it. I mean, lock and load is so powerful. If you have crits on that thing, I've shot a guy who was ubered with a crit, crit lock and load made, and it killed the guy behind it from sheer blast radius. I mean, that's how powerful those things are. They're so much fun. But the crits, like, you know, once per week. In any case, we're eventually making their way up. Red are stumbling around a little. And... Scoot's being Ubered, he's moving up. I game and right. Oh no. Uber's everywhere. This is looking bad. Blue team have realized the power of medics. The medics will win you games if you, if you treat them nicely. Remember to feed them sandwiches every now and again when they feel like it. Okay, looks like Blue's, Blue's movement's actually slacked up a bit. Are they, are they vanguarding? A little bit, actually. Oh, nice bit of work there from Big Smoke. But, yeah, where is Blue Team? I mean, they really should be moving that car. Big Smoke generally being annoying, getting come to stabs in. Mikhail, they're actually playing aggro energy. I do love aggro energy. Nicely done. So we've got over nine minutes on the clock. Yeah, it looks like the blue sorts of petered out. They, they, they can make bold moves, they can move out and devastate things, but they just don't know to touch that car. Now, red. They're doing some nice delay work here. They're actually just, you know, spam firing that car nicely. Now, you've got to buy as much time as you can. Now, let the red engineers, whoever's in place, get built up defending and whatnot, and generally. Delay really as a red team. Now, this red team is really good, so they're not letting Blue Vanguard at all. They can't get in. Blue's not going to be. Oh, wait, there it goes. There's that Uber. He's moving in nicely. Oh, who's that? I bet it's Ruby Rose. No, it's Mr. Bubbles. Nice work. Getting yeah, shoving Blue's in the way. That's what you do to him, Bishop. Way. I don't like you. 
Now, better making this look expensive. Blue haven't been able to catch a break here. They haven't been able to move in properly. What I will say is though, they have no engineering team. What is going on? At least a couple. And there it goes. Blue team eventually managed to get, make their way in. Red team having to give them reluctantly and scoots right in there trying to be annoying. Take that's nice, that's nice, okay, it weren't effective, you just scared some people, it made them move backwards though, which is a good thing. We are getting on with this car, it's looking good, it's frustrated. I know, trying to bend it. Tedious, I think Red might have built the defensive lock back up. Big Smoke's in trouble, not so much trouble. The 24 truck. Whoa! Where, that was a wild charge, that was. And eventually, Blue Nudge over line. Maximum nine minutes. Now, do Ved have anything left? I mean, they've been having to retreat and retreat and retreat. They're doing a really good bit of work here. Nice bit of push. And then there's the Uber. I think uh, the sentry was down already. I think that scoop actually got that. Nicely done. Moving in, clearing everything out. Blue team are doing this nicely, so it's looking good. Red are struggling to scramble in position here. But, you know, while all this is happening, nobody's pushing the cart. You know, this thing to remember when you've got these opportunities, when you've cleared out the enemy team, you need to get on with that cart. Now, I felt a bit wasted there. They're doing some lovely work. Cleaned out red, but didn't get on with the car. Now, they're trying to do it now, but it's has been up the magic. Blue, red might have got sent back, but it's 7 minutes on the... 7 minutes 45 on the clock, and it's looking... It's looking grim for red. They've got to have something amazing come out. Now, to be fair, I will say one of the most annoying things about spies now is that they're all pretty much dead ringer spies. It's still a major problem, in my opinion. I mean, it, it kind of for me is it's too easy to play spy now. Is that all you have to do is hope to not get seen. If you do get seen, don't worry, you can't get hurt after that unless it's a pilot. Or piss. Or magic. Whatever. Okay, better find a counter, but can it, can it work? Go chrono sounds. It's perfect. It didn't entirely work. It, oh no, oh, I think there was pyros involved. It didn't really go to plan. Oh no, the it happened to everybody. And there goes the blue Uber. It's Mr. Bubbles again. This this guy loves using the M2 button. Scoot moving around. Snipers just hate pyros. I love it. Oh no, fire! Okay, we're getting the groove on. It's looking good. Okay, everything's really explodey. Bullets everywhere. Can we maintain it? It's not looking good. I think it's going to be a win for blue. Yes, it's a win for blue. 